Alright, this is probably the dumbest video I'll ever make on this channel, but it's pouring rain right now. Are we gonna test the weather ceiling on the A7 IV by trying to vlog with it in the rain? Um, the camera is still in its 30 day um, warranty limit. And I do have the um, I do have the 4 year extension, so if you're all stay, don't watch this video, just skip it, watch my other videos. Let's go out in the rain. If you're ever gonna do attempt to do something like this, make sure you're using a weather sealed lens. Like we're using this the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeters right here. Oh my god, it's so cold. Oh god, my socks are getting wet. Ah, and make sure all the ports are covered. Like the hot shoe cover is covered, and like all the side ports are covered. I'm also gonna try to like, stabilize and callus browse. Let's do that right now and see how less shaky this is. I don't know. But, oh my god. Oh, god. Okay, alright. Oh god, the camera is soaked. Okay, well hopefully I didn't just waste $3,000, but now let's go outside and see if there's any water leakage anywhere in the camera. Alright, so now let's take a look at the camera. After all that, first of all, if whenever you get any of these cameras wet, you want to keep in mind that even though these cameras are weather sealed, they're only weather sealed when their ports are closed. So obviously when you're you know out in the rain, you want to make sure the hot shoe cover is on there and all the ports are closed off. You know the battery the battery door, all the side ports and everything has to be closed. But even after you get it wet, you have to make sure that you dry the camera off completely. So grab yourself a towel and just dry it off. Make sure there is no water in any of the, the crooks and crannies, that's very important. Before you open any of the ports, because you could dry the camera off if there's like a little bit of drop of water, and then you open up the hot shoe cover on the camera, it could get in there and it could damage the camera. So that's something you have to keep in mind. So I dried it off, and I let it sit for a little while, so that if there was any water left anywhere, it would just drip out, but the camera is completely dry now. And I can already tell that, you know, no water got into any spots. If we open up the hot shoe cover of the camera, it's completely dry. It did a good job of, you know, not getting any water in it. And if we open up all these ports, we can see that, you know, they're all completely dry, thankfully. And Sony has updated the, the covers on these cameras. So, so if we look at all the ports on the camera, we can see that that these new floppy doors are doing a good job of keeping everything completely dry. Yeah, so they're, they're all pretty much covered. So compared to like when I used to use the A7R3, you know, I always felt like this camera, I could not trust it in the rain because it just didn't feel like they did uh, as good a job they did with the newer camera to, to um, weather seal. Like these are just like you know, cheap plastic floppy doors while the A7 IV doors, like they feel like, you know, like they have some sealing in them. Like you can tell that it completely seals the ports, which I like about it. The SD card door is obviously is a lot better on the A7 IV, but I kind of like it better on the R3. Like with the R3, you just push this lever on it and it just, you know, boom, it just like opens it up and then you can just close it to open it. You just press on it, close it. So it works really great. On the A7 IV, you have to like, push down on it and then you pull it up and then you can pull it open and then to close it you have to like close it you have to push it down like it's a little bit more extra steps and i feel like it would break easier just because it, it's just it just seems like a more complicated device to open and close the the sd card port but it does feel a lot more secure and definitely more weather sealed than the a7r3 i also like that since we do have the flip out screen on the a7 IV, you can kind of open it and close it this way so you can if you know you can make it even more secure if you're shooting in some harsh conditions so this camera is definitely really great for um the weather ceiling and obviously you know the camera does turn on you know i press it on and then it turns on so that's great about it and obviously if you're going to be shooting in the rain you want to be using a weather sealed lens like all the tamron zoom lenses are weather sealed so that's what i that's what i'm using right now and let's just check the battery just in case but but as we can see the, the battery door is also weather sealed and the battery is completely dry just like anything else and if we also just check the sd cards you know we can see that they're all 
completely dry. And if you're wondering which SD cards I'm using, I made a video about it previously, so you can check my channel for which SD cards to buy. But these are the Sony Tough cards, and these cards are, I believe they're also somewhat weather sealed. I know they're built stronger than regular SD cards, but so if somehow water were to enter the camera, hopefully your data would be safe. So, but this camera's, um, the SD card slot is like so much better, you know, built than the other one. Like this has like so many more um, insertions to like block out it any water that would get in. Like you can tell it's built way better. Like you have like insertions right outside and also inside there's ways to like block it. So that's really cool how they designed it. So yes, in the end, Sony has done a great job of weather sealing their new a7 IV. It just feels so much better compared to the a7R3 or the a7 III cameras. Those cameras, people, you know, complained about like the weather sealing not being good enough on it. And they definitely took it to the heart and like improved it on the a7 IV. Now, personally, I don't like shooting outside in any harsh conditions with any of my cameras just because... I don't want to risk it and break anything, but if you were to, you know, shoot in something like heavy rain or snow or whatever, I would definitely take the a7 IV over the R3. Because the R3 always just felt like very like fragile, like it just didn't feel like a camera that would like stand in the rain or any snow or whatever. But with the a7 IV, the, the build quality just feels so much better in the hand compared to the R3. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more about the a7 IV camera, I'm making videos about this camera every single day. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to learn more about the strengths of the weakness of this camera. I'm not just kissing this camera's ass. Like I made a video saying that this camera pretty much ruined a photo shoot for me because for some reason pocket wizards don't work with this camera. But anyways, I have some more videos coming out about this camera, you know, talking about its weakness and strengths about it. So. Make sure to check the channel out and if you have any questions about this camera make sure to write it down in the comment section below because i do reply to every single message and if it's an interesting question i might make a video about it also but anyways guys thanks for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video